Okay, welcome to the third of the technical updates that we're doing. Today we're going to concentrate on one or two bits to do with the paddy bar. So it'll be paddy bar for the swords, some close paddy bars, and it'll be paddy bar for, I guess, the Sean Cruz and the reel as well. Mm. A few things we want to go over to do with the paddy bar. One will be the height of the extensions. Second leg will be on about the height of the beat in the middle of the paddy bar. And we'll touch on the timing of the paddy bar yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the height of the paddy bar. So obviously, I think the paddy bar, just for a normal paddy bar and the swords, is going to be secondary. Secondary position low. Secondary yes. low. So that's to say that very, very clearly in the book. An extension of the working foot to secondary position low, spring to that side. So paddy bar, when it's danced in second position, is in secondary position low. So that'll be your sword dance. That will be your first step of the Sean Trues as well. And that will also be all the second position paddy bars in your reel. Okay. But then it's slightly different when you go into the reel, say the the first step of the hooligan in the reel, when you're actually doing paddy bars with other than the lateral travel. Yes. So you're actually travelling towards the line of line direction. Yeah, your line direction at those, your line of travel will be fourth intermediate and the extension which has been confirmed has to be to fourth intermediate in opposition normal. So for example in your first step of the reel you're dancing in, first two paddy bars be fourth intermediate aerial normal. Fourth immediate normal, then get into second area position, low for the next paddy bar, no extension, the next one's part of your turn. Over several to simple high cuts. Okay, so, so there's a slight difference there. If you go to the side, second area low, if it's not going to the side, then it's second area normal yes. level. The book doesn't actually say that as such, but uh, there was a clarification by the technical committee on that, making that quite clear. Yes, is that correct? That's correct. So that's fine. So that's the height of the paddy bars. Secondly, we'll look at the height of the beat of the paddy bar. Again, a lot of chat about this. Again, where we danced, you got a lot of people that did beats that went right up behind the kilt, far too high. We would say the beat would come to round about ankle level. Yes, your toe um, of, the, of the foot doing the beat would come up to roughly in line with your ankle. There is no set height for this. Um, the one thing we would say is it's not, you don't want the foot tucked up under the kilt. Um, there, is, there is no position up there for the rear foot anyway. Um, and you, and, and regardless of anything else, you run the risk of trapping your foot in the kilt and getting stuck. Sure. So the foot's going to come up somewhere roughly aligned uh, with your ankle, totally so, ankle. So that should be without exaggeration. The without exaggeration bit we're saying is up to round with the ankle, which is mm. quite fine. Again, make sure you keep the knee back out. Yep. And that beat is the same height no matter which paddy bar you're doing. Yes, yeah, so all the styles of paddy bar, same height for the beat. Same height, okay. That's fine. Okay, on to the timing, starting with the swords timing first, which is the timing that's not perfect rhythm. So the timing in the boot is one and two, three and four. So obviously the count one is when you land when you paddy bar cross. The and must be when you're actually taking the working hand. Yes. Now, because there's only three counts here, the one and two, the count two must be when you actually land at the bottom of, of the, the beat. beat. Yes, there's no count while you're at the top of the beat because you're not in a specific position that ties in with all the rest of the movements in the book. The three times you're in a specific position, you land, foot comes in, and half point as you one, your and, lift the beat, and down on the two. Now there is an awful lot of discussion on this. There has always been a lot of discussion, and I'm sure this uh, this video update will not be the end of the discussion. But this is this is our opinion. Uh, we look at the, the timing of the reels, and that helps us come to this conclusion that the real paddy bar is perfect half beat paddy bar, one and two. Um, and it's very, very clear to see in the real paddy bar, one is when you land, two the half point goes in, three is when your beat is. Yeah. Uh, so if you've got one and two, two and two for that. You then look at your swords paddy bar. The rhythm is different, but the counting is it's the same numbers, one and two. Logic would then say you dance the same way. So uh, so again for the swords, it's what we're quite clearly saying, it's not simultaneous on landing, so you're not landing your feet together, yeah. but it's nearly simultaneous. It's nearly. It's sharply just right after the simultaneous. Yeah. So it's very close to being simultaneous yeah. without being simultaneous. Yeah. We, we would even suggest that it's very almost simultaneous. Yeah. I know that's not technically what it says in the book, but that's that's what we're going for. Certainly not three beat paddy bar, and not, not simultaneous, but not uh, it's, it's, it's a sharp, it's certainly a sharp movement, so it's, yes. it's nearly simultaneous. Yes, and again, if you try and feel it, if you're landing both feet together down like that, you're going to end up dead. Uh, the reason that it's not there is so we can have some amount of lift. Okay, so I think that's us covered main points we're going to do. Again, we'll go and take this into the studio and we'll have a look and see what it looks like with uh, some shorts and some dancing shoes, maybe. Yes. Okay, so we've moved out to the studio, Derek's all warmed up and uh, ready to roll. 
So following the same order that we did inside, there is a way to demonstrate the height of the paddy bars for the paddy bars danced in second. Legs extend at second, toe in line with the ankle, spring over and land. And then the beat, we'll come back to the height of the beat later. Spring over and land. And what we'll get, I'll get Derek to do half a dozen paddy bars just so you can see the height is possible to be danced in the paddy bar. Ready Derek? Okay, now it just shows you that second aerial low is achievable. Lots of people don't think it is, um, but you can certainly get there. And the point is, it says second aerial low in the book, so you have to aim for low. Right, the next thing we're going to do, Derek's going to um, show you, just he's going to travel back a bit, let the bar go, and we're going to try two paddy bars to fourth intermediate aerial, and they'll go to fourth intermediate aerial, normal height. We're only doing two, because you only ever dance two of those. Set adjustment and we're ready to roll. Okay. Right, thank you, Derek. And they were very, very clearly much higher than the previous pie bars. Right, rearrangement complete again. So we're going to now show the height of the beat. There it's got the foot and a half point. If you just demonstrate a beat, as you can see, the toe came up more or less in line with the ankle. There is no specific height. But that's a nice beat. Front knee straightening, the back leg is lifting slightly, and uh, watch the turn out, which Derek was quite renowned for. I'll get Derek to dance half a dozen closed paddy bars so you can see the height of the beat, focusing on the height of the beat during actual paddy bars. Okay, thank you, Derek. Right. Last thing we touched on is the rhythm of the paddy bars. As you saw from those, they were paddy bars for the swords. We'll dance them again, and this time I'll count the rhythm. You will notice that the feet are landing almost together, but they are not together. We'll dance the paddy bars with the rhythm one and two. One and two, 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 one and two. Now this time, just for a contrast, I'm going to ask Derek to dance the paddy bars landing simultaneously. And you will see a distinct difference in these paddy bars. There will be a much more downbeat on the landing. Right, Derek? One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Right, and there was no way I could count an and because he wasn't doing anything on the and. This time we'll move on to the paddy bars for the Sean Trues or for the real. We've shown the diagonal ones of the heights. The important thing we're doing here is the rhythm. So we'll do the Sean Trues paddy bars, perfect half beat, and that is the one and two. One and two, 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 one and two. Thank you, Derek. As you've seen there, the front foot goes in a half point on the and. Hopefully we've covered all the points that are relevant in the paddy bars. Uh, the videos seem to get quite nice feedback. Uh, as usual, we would welcome any comments you have on the, the three videos we've had so far and any suggestions you might have for forthcoming video updates.